Hi, it's the Rossum Vegan Gal here, and today I'm doing another video for a brand called Tasty Bite. And I'm not sure if I remember what number video this is. It might be number seven, but if I'm wrong, I'll correct it on the video. And I will have a link below to all their products so you can check out what they offer. They offer lots of different products, and I have more videos coming up with some of more of their products. And they did change their packaging, so this is still from the old packaging, just so you know, but on the website it's going to look different. So this is their organic long grain rice. And a while ago, I think it was a few years ago, I did some videos where I called It's in the Bag. So the idea was um, to make a recipe that you can eat it right out of the bag if you want to. Like let's say you're traveling, not that you could do everything that I'm offering here because some ingredients that I'm going to use might need to be refrigerated. So maybe that wouldn't be an option. But the idea is to be able to do it that way so that you could have it with you right out of the bag. So first I'm going to tell you about this product and then I'm going to uh, show you what I'm going to do. So this is their organic long grain rice. It's delicately steamed white rice. It's USDA, orga USDA organic, non-GMO project verified. It's an 8.8 .8 ounce package. Again, that's what it looks like. Um, and I'm not going to heat it up. It's just going to be cold in the bag. But I've also put it in a bowl I have here so that you can actually see what it looks like. But first, I'll make it in the bag. It's also gluten-free, vegan, kosher. Uh, let's see what it says here. Um, uh, and the ingredients are water, organic long grain rice, and organic sunflower oil. That's it, just those few ingredients. And then as far as the nutritional information, it, per cup, it would be 220 calories, and per pouch, it's 390. So if you're looking for something more filling, you'd eat the whole pouch. Uh, fats, uh, for, for a cup, it's 3%. Uh, carb, 16%. Fiber, 9%. So you just basically double that. Or it says 15 fiber for... The, the pouch and 29% for carbs. If, you, if you're worried about carbs and you don't want to eat rice, then that's your choice. I'm just telling you. <laughs> Protein, 5 grams for the cup, 8 grams for the pouch. And as far as other nutritional information, just iron, 2% and 4% for the actual whole pouch. And it also it says that this is a BPA-free package, just so you know. And it's also processed in a facility that processes peanuts, tree nuts, wheat, dairy, soy, and sesame, just so you know if that's a concern for you. Um, and so... Um, what, um, and it says if you do heat it up and you don't, or don't use the whole thing, you refrigerate the unused por portion. Um, I usually eat the whole thing because <laughs> it's like in a meal. So what I'm calling this particular um, recipe is Italian-ish style. And you'll know why when I actually uh, sh share with you why I call it that. Because maybe not all the ingredients I use are used by Italians, but it has ingredients that would be, you know, in that realm. So first what I'm going to do is open the pouch. That would help, right? So I'm going to just going to tear it. Sometimes I use a scissor. But when you open it, you want to be careful. A couple of things to tell you if you haven't seen my other videos is first you want to um, press the uh, rice because it is already steamed. It's cooked. So if it's like not, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, it says to squeeze it to separate the rice. That's what I was looking for. Then also you want to make sure you push the rice down, lower down. So when you open it, the rice doesn't fly out of the package because that can happen too. So this one happens to be already pretty pretty uh, separated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the pouch first. And I'm going to show you actually. So first I'm just going to open it, put it on the side here. So I have all my ingredients here. So what I'm going to start with, I think, um, to do it in the pouch and then I'll put some in the bowl. So first what I'm going to do is I have seasoning. So I do have Italian seasoning, so therefore hence it makes it an Italian-ish uh, product or, or Italian-ish recipe. So Italian seasoning, if you don't know, I just have dried, um, dried herbs that I get from the health food store and then I just put them in a, in a, in a jar that I reuse. So um, this has thyme, rosemary, basil, oregano, marjoram, and sage. So I'm just going to put some in here into the package, but I may need to add more when I... Put it in the bowl because if I mix it up, and I didn't show you, I just put some in the um, in the package just like that. If you could see that, and then I also have ginger powder. So I don't know if ginger is used in Italian food, but I like ginger, and um, it depends what time of year. Some people don't like to use ginger when it's still warm weather, but if it's cooling down and you want to get a little bit of, of warmth into your body, you can put a little bit of that. So I'll just put this here to show you. So I'm just sprinkling a little bit in, not too much. Again, if you don't like too much of it, it's just this has holes where I could sprinkle it. So I'm just gonna. Put some in there. So that's for that seasoning. Um, next seasoning I'm going to use is some nutritional yeast. Again, I don't know if that's a, um, a uh, 
used by, um, you know, Italians, but uh, nutritional yeast flakes. So this is from a brand called Shiloh Farms, and I will include below this um, video their information. So what I like about their nutritional yeast is they're organic. Um, I, this is the only brand I found that actually is organic, and they actually uh, do it on, uh, use uh, rice, organic rice flour. So it's different than other brands that actually, and it also, it's non-fortified non as well, which is important, and kosher, etc. So, but I'll just share a link to the, to the um, uh, name of the brand underneath. So I'm going to just put a little bit of this into the, um, into the bag, and I'll get myself a nice clean spoon. It's always, when you use different things, always make sure you have different clean spoons to use. I have one right here. So I'm just going to, um, let's see, if I can, just going to take maybe a spoonful of this. And I normally put this in a shaker jar, but I just opened this new package. So um, I'm just putting some in the bag. Sorry, I don't have a place to put the bag on the table. So that was just that. So I just put the nutritional yeast in there. Next thing I'm going to do is put, and this is this is Italian, rosemary. It's actually flax crackers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break up, crumble up some flax crackers into the um, rice. And that's for a little crunch and something a little different texture. So this is what the flax crackers look like. And I will also, like I said, I'll put all the information below from the different brands that I'm using uh, in this recipe. So I'm just going to take this and just break it up. It's kind of, you could break it up with your hands, basically, if it'll break, <laughs> into pieces. Just little pieces, not not too little, it doesn't have to be too little, just kind of like that big. Just so you have a little bit of something different. Now I'm just going to put one in for now. And again, I didn't mix any everything up, it's all just kind of sitting in there in the, in the, in the package. Next I'm going to do, um, I also have here some coconut aminos from A Coconut Secret. So this um, is a, a soy free alternative. To soy sauce so I'm just gonna put some into here again I don't know if Italians use this but this is what I'm creating that's why I call it ish Italian ish just put some in there next I'm gonna take some lemon I have some lemon here that's already cut and I also have a lemon reamer if you never saw that that you can get probably any kind of like kitchen or home store um, and I'm just gonna put some into the um, well I don't know if I'm, I need it I'm just gonna Give it, this is to just to give it some flavor and for it to not be so dry, you know, rice by itself. So I'm just gonna squeezing some into the bag, just like that. And if I need more, I'll add more, but I just wanted to show you the reamer in case it's something you um, would want to use for the lemon, because then you can get more of the lemon out. You could use a spoon too, but I think a reamer is also easier. So I just put some in there. I'm just going to put this back into the container I had it in. So that's the lemon. Next, I'm going to do... Uh, what are we going to do next? Oh, next, um, I have some chickpeas. This is from Eden. Again, it's something I like. And it's just to add something different so you get more protein. And uh, this is their uh, chickpeas. This is, is their larger container. Now, it comes with a liquid in it. You might not know about this, about chickpeas. They cook them with kombu. That's why I like Eden. Um, and no salt added. And I've done some videos for them, too. So the liquid can actually be used. So if you wanted to make, add the liquid to that, you know, I might just pour some in the bowl. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some and put some in the bag. Again, I'm sorry I can't show it to you right now. I can't hold that and hold the bag. Just a few spoonfuls. And what I'll probably do in the video is um, take just the top part of the rice out to show in the bowl. And what I may start doing is putting it in the bowl, actually, now. <laughs> um because I think it'll be easier. So that's just the idea for you to know that you could do it in the bag. So what I'm going to do now, let's see, I need to take a, um, another utensil here, figure out what one I want to use here. Um, okay, so I just took another utensil, and I'm just going to now put everything into the bowl. Or maybe you can see that. I'll move this down. I don't know if you can see the bowl. Now that I kind of started it, you get the idea. Now it'll be easier for me to do it in the bowl. Because sometimes when I do this, the um, the liquids start going down to the bottom of the bag, like the aminos. So I may have to add more. First for flavor. That's why when you start making this um, and you do it, you'll see what how much flavor you need for yourself and then add it. I want to get more rice into the bowl here, so you can kind of see it now a little bit. And I'll hold up the bowl because it's glass, so you can see it easier. So 
I think I got most of the stuff that was in here out. I'm just going to kind of mix it up a little. See if you will be able to see it. Okay, so that's, that's basically the idea, just so you know how to do it in the bag. But again, you might not be able to do all these ingredients if you're on the road. Certain things you can do and certain things you couldn't do. Okay, so you can always use other things, other seeds, nuts, you know, things that are easy to transport. Because beans not, might not be. So that's kind of what it looks like right now. Um, okay. And I could probably add more rice still to this. It's a lot of rice in here. Okay. That'll be it for now. Okay, then next what I'm going to do, let's see, what do I have next? Okay, then I have these um, pickle, classic dill pickle chips. So you get some uh, probiotics in there. This is from Cleveland Kitchen, and I'll include them below as well. So I'll take some of this out. So they're just, they're called pickle chips, but they're actually just sliced pickles. So I'll show you that. That's the pickle. I'll take a couple of those out and cut them. And I actually have also cucumber to use. I wasn't going to do that, but I could use both. It's okay. So I'll have pickled cucumbers and regular cucumber. Just trying to get one more out of there. Oops, doesn't want to come out. I didn't realize that before, but that's okay. You can use cucumber and both. You can use both. Okay, so I got two pickles, and I'm going to just uh, cut those up into smaller pieces. Okay. So before I do that, I'll get, do that at the end because I have my knife and I'm not going to wash it. That's for other vegetables. Let's see, what else I'm going to use that is Italian is, um, or people in, people Italian use this, it's, it's actually crushed tomatoes. It's also from Eden. Um, they make a lot of different tomato products, which I like. What I like about these is it's just crushed tomatoes and no salt added at all. Um, it comes in a, an amber glass jar, which protects the product. And again, I'll put, put the information below for the brand and the product. So all it is in here is tomato puree, uh, tomatoes, and that's it. So it's, it's nice. And it does actually, um, that is actually made with Italian Roma, heirloom Roma, and Napoli uh, tomatoes on a fifth generation family farm. So there you go. So, um, so this is really nice. So I like this. So it's kind of thick. Um, so this is an alternative to like tomato sauce. If you don't want to do tomato sauce, I don't know why there was a flash in the uh, video. So just in case you saw that, um, don't worry about it. It's, I don't know why it happened. So I'm just going to take, and I always use, if you use um, utensils, as you see, I don't use any metal. But if you don't use, if you want to use wooden, or I also use um, uh, compostable. So I, I try to use my wooden utensils because when I use my other utensils, it actually stains it. So I'm going to put some into the bowl here, and then I'll probably cut the pickles last. So this is just really nice, just like that. And if you want to add uh, pieces of chunky tomato into here too, you can. Okay, I think that's enough for now. I may use more, so I'm just going to keep the spoon in the container there. So I'm going to mix this up, and I might just leave the pickles as is. I didn't actually cut them, but going to mix this up. You get the tomato in here and it's turning the rice so the rice doesn't look as as uh, white anymore. It looks more red. So I might just leave the pickles as is. Okay, so that's kind of what it looks like right now. Then next I have some veggies. I have some celery. So I'm going to cut that into here, into the bowl. I'll bring that closer here so you can see that. Just a little, few little pieces, as much as you like. Again, it's for flavor, texture, you know, you have something a little different. Again, any vegetable you like, any herbs you like, fresh herbs, dried herbs, like I put, you know, so it's up to you what you like to use. Okay, so there's some celery. Next, I have something very interesting you might not have ever heard of. It's called yacon root. And I'm not sure you can get it where you live, but where I am, I, I happen to go to a farm that actually um, grows them. So yacon, it's similar in properties as far as flavor. If you're in a jicama, so you could always use jicama instead. Um, and yacon is a uh, prebiotic in the body. What that is, is it actually feeds the probiotic bacteria, so it's, it's very good for you. And I actually have a piece that's already cut um, to show you that I'm going to use. And I just take off the skin, so that's what it looks like on the inside. So I'm just going to peel the skin off. And it does have a juicy, uh, kind of just sweet flavor. Not sweet like you'd have like a you know, processed candy or something, but, um, but it's nice. So you just peel off the skin, 
And the skin is easier to peel off than the uh, jicama is, so that's what it looks like. And I'm just going to take some a piece here and slice it into the into the bowl here like that. Just cut it up like this. And slice it right into the bowl. And one more little piece here to finish it off. Okay, so that is that. And then next I have some carrot that I was going to grate. Grate, and I have this cute little mini grater. I don't know where I bought it, but uh, maybe you can look online. So I'm going to do it. With, so it's nice because it's small, so this is great for traveling. So I happen to have a carrot that's actually already cut. So I'm just going to, what I'm doing is just going to grate some into the bowl. If it'll work. <laughs> it's grating, but I don't know if it's going in the bowl. There it is. I don't know if you saw that. It fell. Not too much is falling out. You grate a lot. I guess for it to fall out. So I'll do it this way. Okay, just the idea that you get have some carrot in here for something different. And it can be cooked. This is raw, so. Oh, there it goes. Now it's coming out. I don't know if you can see that in the bowl. Maybe I'm too hot, too low into the bowl. Okay, that's just the idea you get for that. Okay. So that is the carrot. And then I do have cucumber, like I said. So maybe I'll just slice a couple pieces in there anyway, even though I use the pickles. So we'll get my knife again here. And I'm going to leave the pickle, the other pickles as is. So I'll just take a couple pieces of this cucumber. And I know I should also mention I do use this uh, brand called BioBag. They have resealable bags, so they're uh, compostable and they're not made of plastic. So I like that. So I'm just going to make some slices here like this, kind of like uh, cucumber sticks this way. And then if I want, I can cut the pickles. So I just didn't want the pickles to get all over everything else that I'm working with. So that's why I figured I'd do it last. Because uh, I'm not washing the knife in between. Okay, so we got the cucumber. Uh, let's see what else. So now I can cut the, the, the pickle. So maybe I'll cut that into different, different uh, uh, pieces. So it's not the same as the uh, cucumber. Into little pieces. And I have one more piece. I don't know if it'll be visible in the video, but that's okay. Okay, so that's that. Now, I think I have everything in here that I wanted as far as the uh, recipe. And then, like I said, you can always add some of the uh, liquid from the uh, beans, but I don't think I'm going to do that. So then I'll just show you kind of what this looks like. I don't know if you could, you can't really see everything too, too well, but um, as far as the video, but I can show that to you. Here's what, here's what the, um, looks like my Italian-ish uh, long grain rice that's in the bag now out of the bag and I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. Mm. Tastes very nice. Yeah, it has good flavor, good texture. I'd probably add more ginger. I didn't put a lot in here. But this is a nice um, way to use this rice. And it doesn't take that long to prepare, which is nice. But I mean, if you don't have all the ingredients I use, you can substitute other things. I mean, you don't have to use everything that I mentioned. It's just an idea of what you can use. So again, this is the um, Tasty Bite Organic Long Grain Rice. And I thank you for watching. It's the Rossum Vegan Gal.